The glassware that I'm using is actually from Libby Glass. This is their 10 and a half ounce. Uh, basically, it's a uh, type of a wine glass that can go either way for red or white wine. So I, I like using this just because it's a nice size glass, nice sturdy glass also, and very affordable to paint on as well. And I, and I seem to get um, a lot of interest in this style of glass. And the size is just right you know, for shipping and um, just for serving you know, if you're entertaining, that type of thing. It's not too big of a glass. Now to get started tonight, I'm going to use, I use um, basically the gold folk art enamel and the wicker white. Those are the only two colors of paint you need. And then I'm using one of these tips, which I absolutely love. I used to use the little metal tips that you had to try to keep on the very top. And anyhow, I love these tips. The metal ones that I used to try to use would not stay on. When you'd give it a little bit of pushing pressure to get the paint out, they would come right off. So this is definitely a lot better just to be able to twist it on to the top of the the um, paint bottle. Anyways, what I'm going to do is just randomly draw a branch design and it, it's just just very random. Uh, no two will be alike, obviously. And you just, you know, just try to intercross them a little bit and uh, just do some different things with them. And just kind of you know, think of a, a actual tree branch that has a lot of little branches that come off of it. And you know, the branches don't just aren't completely straight where they don't over, um, you know, go over the top of each other, or whatever, because they do. And I just keep turning it, you know, trying to fill in if I think it needs to be, you know, filled in more. And keep in mind too, like I said, no two are going to be alike. And you really, with doing you know creative stuff, you really don't want them to be alike. They could be similar. That's good. Similar's good. But to be totally alike, nah. You don't need it. Totally don't need it to be that way. Now this glass will take a little bit of time to paint. Not too much, but a little bit because there are a few parts to it. And like I said, I do plan to try to start selling these at some point on my site with my bridal hangers because I think that, you know, I used to do a lot of glass painting and then I kind of stopped because I got so busy with the, the hangers. But now that there's so much competition with the hangers and I actually kind of miss painting the glassware. I thought, you know, it's kind of nice maybe to add something else back into it. Maybe not as many options as I used to have because I think that was just too many and I was always trying to come up with a new idea and that type of thing, which but you have to. You really do. Anytime you're you're offering something, you you got to keep up with the trends, what people are wanting to see. But these bottles, like you can see, they, they just work very nicely. And, and keep in mind too, like I've always say, if you don't like the design you end up with, just wash your glass off and start again. That's as easy as, as can be, and you don't have to worry about, oh my goodness, you know, I just painted this wall and I, I don't know what to do because I messed up. and. Oh my gosh, it's going to cost so much money to redo it. Should I redo it? Just leave it the way it is. Hey, if you're putting that much thought into it, start over. It's not worth it. it truly isn't. Okay, you can take a look, see if you want to add anything or, um, you know, change anything in your design. Just give it a look over and see. Like I said, I'm happy with it. You know, these are really, anybody can paint for the most part as far as the style of the, the branches. I will not be baking these, and the reason being is that 
with these thicker lines, I find that if I do bake them, then they tend to bubble. So I'm not going to even attempt it because I know that that's what is likely to happen. The next step I'm going to do is to paint the paint the um, tree trunk area. I'm using wicker white and the gold together. I'm just going to go down here with my brush. And the, the only problem I see with, with this is when I initially started is that the gold is kind of thin. So I was kind of concerned with that, but I'm just going to go down here and just do this pattern around the glass and just keep building until I get to the top. And just kind of overlapping a little bit. It's just a real, I don't know, just a little wiggle. You put the brush here, just a little wiggle, and then just keep turning it and filling your brush up. Now if I hadn't drawn the lines on the top, just keep in mind that even, even with doing this that you do need to clean your glassware. Um, at least wash it, if not wash it, and go over it with uh, some rubbing alcohol. Denature rubbing alcohol is supposed to be the best, but rubbing alcohol nonetheless. To clean it off, get the oil off of it and make sure that it's clean so that you don't have any problem with the paint adhering to the glass. And if you were to bake your glassware, I mean that option's up to you. Because some of you might use a paintbrush and have a thinner thinner line going on. You don't have to use these these tops like I'm showing you. If you don't have the tops, that's okay. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. If you're good at drawing and getting the thickness you want with a paintbrush, that's perfect too. And like I said, this takes a little bit longer because you do have a little bit more detail going on here. But I just keep turning the glass and painting on it as I go. This is the kind of design I typically use to do my palm tree glasses to make the the bark on my palm trees. But I think it's just an interesting look for the stem. Just something a little different than what you might be seeing. Give it some interest to go along with the branches, because a lot of people do the branches. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm not the first one to come up with this idea as far as doing the branches but I just thought you know why not offer that as a as a wedding style glass with my bridal hangers and I, of course I keep wanting to come up with new designs to paint for videos That can be the hard part. If you feel like you're getting too much paint on your brush, I know a lot of people, they kind of feel like you never can have too much paint on your brush. I feel the opposite. I, it bugs me when I get too much paint. I just keep kind of skimming it off as I go, if I feel like I'm getting too, too mucky. Like I said, this is fun. I really enjoy painting on glass. It's probably one of my favorite surfaces, besides walls. Walls would be, whoops, doing this backwards. Walls would be my favorite. And actually, I'm excited too now that I think about this. I bought a new camera. 
so I'm still kind of in the process of learning how to use it and of course it's got it's 20 megapixels so the pictures are bigger than what I'm used to and so I'm kind of learning kind of at a learning stage with that trying to you know I'm finding that I can take pictures but then they're too big I can't actually get them in my program to edit them so that's not good I'm glad they're bigger but I need to learn the camera well enough to make that adjustment before I start using it but I'm excited I'm hoping that my videos will be a lot better and and I continue to come up with ideas on things to offer in my videos and on that topic, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Anything you would like to see me do or suggestions on videos that would be interesting to you. I don't have any problem trying different products. If you'd like to see, you know, different products compared or in, in work, you know, being worked. You know, because a lot of times people don't have the the money to be able to try different things, so they're trying to figure out what the best product is for a project and may be interested in seeing something that can be done for them. Okay, we're nearing the end here of this part. Now this would be a fun, a fun pattern, I think, for like a ladies' night. If you want to have friends over to paint glassware and drink, um, you know, something that uh, may not completely dry before they go home, I mean, that's the only thing. But I think if they're careful enough with it, it still would be, would be fine. Because this paint dries fairly quickly, at least to touch. And so, you know, if you're worried about them, it will not dry per se with the thickness of this of these lines completely. Um, now, when you get to the top here, if you want to bring it up and just kind of make it look like it's touching the branches, you can. If that doesn't bother you, then just leave it leave it be. You know, make it even around the bottom of the bowl. Strictly up to you. I kind of like to make it look like it's at least in the vicinity. Alright, so there we go with the top. So there we go. Again, pretty easy. Just kind of layer it, doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing I paint is. You probably have already determined that. The next and final step is going to be putting the dots on. Tonight I'm just using a tool that I thought had a neat end. It's actually a weeding tool for vinyl. Now, this is where I have a tendency to have some difficulties. And you're saying, make a little polka dots. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. Well. I have a tendency to have them be kind of raised, you know, with these sharp little peaks. I'm not quite sure how to avoid that. I'll be honest with you too, the lighting here where I'm doing this video is not as good as it is in my studio. So I'm kind of looking at these thinking, okay, um, hopefully they turn out alright. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to make a really nice, uh, you know, little dots without having big tails, big sharp tails on them, let me know. Love to hear that. And this one I think I have a little bit of gold paint in. But you basically just pick out a tool, whatever tool you have. If you have a, you know, the tip of a pencil back of a paintbrush, um, you know, just, there's so many things that you can actually use for polka dots like this. So 
sorry. My, I'm sure I'm getting close and far away and all over the place, but this one I'm trying to look. I don't want to get too much on here. So I guess so this is probably the most challenging part for me. But it's, I mean, it's really not that difficult to do. It just, I just get kind of frustrated, it's frustrated at times because it's like, you know, I see people do polka dots all the time and they're nice and, yeah, they're just nice. They're nice and flush. They're, you know, not too pointy. And I think, okay, how are you doing that? How are you doing that, man? Oh, I just don't want anybody to get cut with my polka dots. And you think that may be, you know, silly to say, but I did actually have a customer a while back where I did some uh, sunflowers, and they, I did dots around the, kind of like the top here, and she, you know, she mentioned about how sharp they were. I said, yeah, you know, I know. I know, I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you can knock the, the points off of them a little bit or not, but yeah, I don't want anybody to get hurt by them either. And they're trying to hold their glass. I guess it's probably got something to do with maybe the tool I'm using or the amount of paint that I'm putting on, are my guesses. I guess I just randomly and for some reason I'm seeing myself put like three or four dots but there's just not a you know, not a right, right or wrong way to do that. I kind of like odd numbers so I'm not sure where I'm coming up with the with the fours but I tend to be doing that. I don't know, maybe it would have been better off with a different tool. Maybe this has too sharp of a point at the bottom. It could. It could be that. Well, I started off using the, the bottles, the tips that I showed you. And then I thought, see, there's one. You know, just, I just pull them up and it has such a, such a sharp point on it. It's like, okay. I think these are really neat glasses. You know, they're quick, they're simple. Well, I'm going to say they're quick. Probably not the quickest thing I paint, but they're not too hard. I mean, not too. Could be worse. At least I can do it all at one time. You know, when you get into reverse painting and you have to let certain parts dry and then you can proceed, that gets to be a little time consuming. And I've done an awful lot of that. All right, well, I think I'm going to stop right there with this glass. And if I find I need to add more, I can. It's not a big deal. Once again, I'm not, I'm actually not uh, baking these, so I can always add more. Just let them dry. But keep in mind, this paint that I'm using, the Folk Art Enamels, is something that does not have to be baked. They do cure fully at, or at 21 days. Doesn't mean you can't use them, but I would recommend if you do paint glasses and you want to use them, just make sure you hand wash them. You know, give them at least 24 hours to dry or more. The more you can, the better. But, once again, I think these are beautiful. You could make a beautiful gift even for a bridal shower. Alright, once again, I do appreciate you stopping by. Look forward to my next video and please subscribe if you are not an actual subscriber. 
feel free to share this and ask your friends to subscribe. I'm, you know, always open to having more people following me. I, I am working hard to get that to happen. So, once again, thanks for your time. Let me know any comments, cr constructive criticism, any advice on the polka dots. I would love to hear, and I will see you next time.